Hi everybody, this is Mike. Thanks for watching. What we're going to show you today is the first flight of my new 8-7 quad. It's an 8-inch frame. I'm running 7-inch props. Right now I'm running 70-40 props, but eventually I'll probably get higher pitched props on this thing for long-range cruising. The motors are Brother Hobby 28065 motors, 1460 kV. And the battery running this whole thing is a 6,000 milliamp 5S2P custom pack that I made. The receiver is a Crossfire Diversity Nano with an Immortal T and also a True RC Bard Pole antenna. As far as video goes, I'm doing a uh, Cadex Rattel 2 camera. We're uh, running 5.8 gigahertz using a Rush Tank Solo. The maximum output of that is around 1,000 to uh, 1,600 milliwatts depending on conditions. ESC is a T-Motor 55A, uh, 4 and one ESC, and a Kakute uh, F7 controller. And this thing uh, weighs around 1,200 grams, all kitted up, and about half of that weight is the battery. The objectives of this flight is to gather battery life data for future planning and evaluate the video transmission quality, and plus give this whole thing a shakedown cruise. So, let's go flying. VTX power. One more goggle thing. You're good. Stay where you're at. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe not. <laughs> VTX power is at 25. We're going to crank it up. Okay. All the way. Okay. One, one, one watt plus. What else? Okay. One watt plus. We're good to go. Confirm sats and home point. Yep, yep. Take off. Go. You're off. We're leaving two. Watch our speed. You come a little closer to me now if you want. There's the river. Altitude. Altitude. 200. 250 feet. Great video so far, 29 miles an hour. Right. Let's get up high so we get to right. no loss of signal. We've got to stay above the tree fingers. Altitude 400 feet. 500 feet, about 32 miles an hour. I still got to go up higher, I think. I want to err on the side of climbing. Okay. 33 miles an hour. We're above the tree fingers. Right. Altitudes. We should be safe. You're you're at eight, nine hundred feet. We've got to watch for the clear cut to the left and a clump of trees on the right. When I get over near the clear cut area, I'm going to turn around and look for our home point, okay? Okay. 45 miles an hour. How far out are we? 4,000 feet. Look at this lower road here. See that lower road? Yeah, I see it. That's one. Okay, we're definitely high enough above the tree fingers here, aren't we? Mm -hmm. We're at the middle road height. Mm -hmm. Let's turn to the right and see what happens. Look for a home point. We're gonna see a, a bridge, a river, and oh, there's our big exclamation point right in the middle. Right. Uh -huh. See that right there? Uh-huh. That's our home point, that big clear cut. Okay, I think we're high enough to be safe here. You're altitude coming down just a little bit. Yeah. So I got to watch going to the left here. Mm -hmm. We're losing sight of that clear cut area, aren't we? Yep. Let's just follow this ridge up. But I feel good line of sight right here. You got a good line of sight there, Andrew. Forty miles an hour. That's plenty fast. Get up a little higher. 1,000 milliamps. 
Okay, yeah. Wow. See this ridge here right below us? We don't want to get too low behind that, do we? That could block our line of sight. That road. Yeah. To our left, I think, is our clear cut brown spot. See that? Yeah, I see it. Just okay. barely? Yep. I see it over in the left corner. Yeah, like at the 8 o'clock position? Yep. So let's just proceed this way. There's a lot of trees up there. Dude. <laughs> We're at 1300. We're not at the top yet. We do have our heading into a wind, aren't we, though? Yep. I've got a good signal with both antennas. Good, I got a beautiful. Nice clear signal. Both sets, 1400. Okay, well, now we know how much juice it's taking to get up here with this wind. And this quad may be different, you know? Mm -hmm. I gotta make sure I just don't go over the ridge. Here's the upper road. Yep. Patches of snow. Let's look at, mm -hmm. we can't fly too far to this left. There's, a, I think, the clear cut area there. I see it, we just came around it. it should be the There's our mountain. Yep. And I don't want to go to that far peak at the left. I want to go. This Bowman Mountain. Uh -huh. There's a clear cut. No, that's the right side there. Yeah, on the right side. Yeah, okay, right. And there's, somewhere over here is our end of our going to the left, you know? Mm -hmm. Dude, I'm like, okay, we're at 1,700 milliamps. Right, 1,700, 3,000. The thing is shaking from the wind. Eighteen hundred. We're heading towards the saddle. We're at two miles now. I've still got a clear signal. So this hill right here in the shadow, dead ahead, uh -huh. that's the that's the saddle right there. Yep. That right below the. I can see our home point. Mm -hmm. I'm just, I'm just filming just so we can get an idea. We can look at this video later and go, dude, look at that creep right down the middle there. Telemetry lost. Telemetry recovered. Telemetry recovered. Always when we're on the right like that. Look at that, that's kind of an interesting hill. Let's fly down towards our turnaround spot. Right. Our, cl our clump on the right. My God, I got great video, dude. I don't know about you. I've got really good video on both of them. Well, we're putting out at one plus milliwatts, new new transmitter. You know what I'm saying? Sure, kind of helps, doesn't it? Sure does. I think after these trees, this clear cut. There's the clump of trees, right? Mm -hmm. right. There, right in the middle. Right there. That's the clump of trees because there's the fingers pointing up to it. Uh -huh. That's my clump of trees right there. It looks like a road goes right by. Whoa, look how they sawed it right there. Mm -hmm. So this is the upper road. Uh -huh. Where are we at, 2100? We're at 21, we're almost at 2200. Let's, let's drive the upper road here and film this. Okay. There's a couple of lone trees up there. Look at the skyline horizon straight ahead, right under the E. I see. See those lone trees sticking up, I think? Those could be uh, widow makers. Here again, I can't go too far to the left. This road will eventually. I'm right in the middle, above the tree fingers. Uh -huh. And I think what happens, if I keep going this road, I'll get to that clear cut, our far left clear cut. Think so? Yeah. Okay. I 
think. Where's our mountain? Right there. Back there. There's the clear cut. See the brown? I see it. So that's our left. Okay, that's our left one. There's not much room to fly up here. 25. Okay. What do you say? You start heading home by four. Yep. It's a little windy up there. Mm -hmm. Altitude 25 meters deep. This would be good data. Man, I'm going 47. I think I got a tailwind right there. Mm -hmm. Dude, I'm backing off and it's... <laughs> 2,800 milliamps. Yeah. 1.85 miles an hour. See, now our speed is doing 30. I haven't changed the throttle much. I think we're heading in the wind here. Here's the saddle to our right. Mm -hmm. 2800. Telemetry lost. Telemetry recovered. What are we at? Two miles about? Yep, we're 1.95 miles. Nine, six, I don't know about you, but I can see great. I can see fine. Just a little glare on the lens, right? Yep, but this is my, two miles out, right there. Get a little further, 2.2, 2.02. 3,070 milliamps. Top of Bowman again. That's the clear cut area down over there somewhere. We're at 3100. That's the upper road. That's a, a road up there. Look at that. It's huh. an upper, upper road. Well, when we hit the four, we'll start heading home, okay? okay. We're 1,000. I'm just basically filming. So we can, so I can study this later, you know? There's our clear cut, and they're right in the middle. There's a little bit of a knoll right here on the right. Yeah. Right? There. Milliamps? Yep. And altitude is 2550. Get a little jello on the video, that means the thing is shaking like a. You're only at 19 miles an hour now. That's because I got a wind up here, I think. You're at 17, 15. I'm not, I'm not doing much. Let's start heading back. Let's just start heading back now, just to gather data on the flight home. I just got to keep my altitude up. I can't go lower than the, than the middle of the tree hole. The tree, see the tree fingers there from that direction? Remember, I can come right down this ridge. I 
got to just fly horizontal ish ish for a while, don't I? Yeah, you're coming down. Two thousand feet. Two thousand feet. You see the home point? Yep. Me too. Just looking. 1,700 feet, keep it high. God, 50 miles an hour. <laughs> Bridge barely, I think. Uh -huh. That big white spot in the middle, I think, is us. Is it? Yeah, I see it. Yeah, that's, I think it is too. Oh, there's the bridge right now in the middle. Mm -hmm. Just gotta stay high enough for our trees not to block us. Here it is. I see something. The car, I think. Or oh, I see the pile of wood. Uh -huh. We're coming in from the right a little more, aren't we now? Yep. Because of the wind. I'm coming in this way, Jim. Take the scenic route. This tree. Dude. Forty-four hundred amps. Yep. We survived the odds again. That was a good data collecting flight. It's windy up there. <laughs> Plus the quad's not perfectly tuned as good as it could be, but it's uh -huh. it's. I'm pleased. That's <laughs> pretty so, good, dude. I'm not gonna fly up there again today. It's too windy. <laughs> I may do a couple of little flights here and change some settings and cut some uh -huh. data, you know. But okay, I'm gonna turn off this turn off recorder. Please. That was awesome. It's a good flight. Well, I like those that aren't too exciting. <laughs>